what is it they say? Fail to prepare, prepare to fail. And in crypto, that preparation means diving into analysis to look for the pointers and patterns of what an asset might do. And lucky for you, we're here to give some helpful tips on the different elements of analysis and how they work. First up is technical analysis. Welcome to the latest film from currency.com where we cover everything crypto. And remember to like, comment, subscribe, and now a word of warning. Crypto analysis is not an exact science or a guarantee against losses. But once you get the hang of it, it can give you knowledge to make well-informed decisions on investments. All right, all right, time to get stuck in. Technical analysis is probably the most common form of analysis across all financial markets. The basic idea is that markets behave according to patterns and trends, which gives them a degree of predictability. By using the patterns and trends found in the past movements of an asset, you get indicators of what future price movements will potentially be. There are a number of indicators traders look for, some of which have been used for over a hundred years. And guess what? They're still useful even for crypto. And here's just a few. All this data is typically available on exchanges, but there are also a number of websites that carry it. Just make sure they're reputable. I'm going to focus on three indicators that I think are an absolute must for crypto technical analysis, which are price trends, oscillators, and moving averages. I'm going to show you how they work by using examples of them in action, showing you the patterns, the trends, and what they revealed. And to do this, I'm going to be focusing on Bitcoin and Shiba Inu. First step is price trends, otherwise known as price action or price patterns. In simple terms, it's an analysis of price movements of an assets or the market, and it reveals trends and indicators to when to buy, sell, or hold. It can reveal whether price is trending up with higher highs and higher lows, or if price is trending down with lower highs and lower lows. And one key element of price action is candlestick charts. And what makes these candlesticks useful is that they show four price points. And all of these price points happened within the time period of this candlestick. And one pattern of candlesticks to look out for on a chart is something like this, which is called a bullish consolidation. And something like this right here after a breakdown of support is called a bearish consolidation. As we can see here, price continued having those similar patterns. And finally, after that, you can see where things move sideways. And this is when price has got a little bit more stable regarding as if it's bullish or bearish. Now, there are all sorts of patterns to candlestick charts and way too many for me to cover on here. But let me show you an example of Bitcoin price action in an uptrend uh, where price is making higher highs and higher lows right here in December of 2020 all the way through to 2021. So as you can see here, price started the uptrend here after it broke out from the lows with a bullish consolidation, which got followed by another breakout and consolidation. And then same pattern continued with a breakout, a rejection with consolidation. And as you can see, the pattern that this price is doing is it is making higher lows and higher highs every time. The lows continue to get higher right after a breakout and consolidation, and then price action continues the same move. So that's a nice clean uptrend. We see price moving in steps with the consolidation level, the breakout level, and then it repeats until it finally starts to move sideways. And if we take a look right here, what I mean by sideways is when price actually stops making those higher highs and higher lows and the patterns start to shift. So this is where you can look at things to potentially have a reversal. Now, next up right here, we have oscillators. And I'm taking a look at the RSI and what this does, an oscillator constructs the high and a low band between an extreme value of an asset. And then it builds a line known as a trend indicator that fluctuates between the top and the low band. And when the oscillator is towards the top bands, 
and you can look at price as overbought. But when it is towards the low bands, then you can look at price as oversold. The last thing that I will talk about that can help you determine exactly what kind of trend the market is in, and that is moving averages. And what is the moving average? The moving average is an average price from the past, let's say 200 days, and that positions exactly where the moving average will sit at previously to that candle. So let's say we were right here for Bitcoin. The position of this moving average right here, this red line would be calculated from the past 200 days. And then depending if you're using an exponential or a simple moving average, that gets calculated to give you an average price. And then if that average price is below the current price levels, then that means price is in an uptrend. And if that average price is above, then that means price is in a downtrend. And the moving averages do look simple, but there can be a few issues with them. And as you can see here, price can cross below the moving averages, but price won't continue in a downtrend. And then price can also cross above and it can get choppy around the moving averages. That's why it is best to use maybe one or two indicators to help you read the price action. And most recently here for Bitcoin, as you can see, Bitcoin did cross below the 200 day moving average. And that is exactly where it's been trending now for majority of the year. So we can consider this a downtrend until price either moves up and crosses above, which will be around that $50,000 range, or if we do see Bitcoin continue pushing downwards and that moving average does continue to stay above the price. But it's important to remember that these trends and patterns aren't guarantees of what an asset is going to do. There's always a risk you'll lose money. Sometimes, and very annoyingly, an asset does the opposite of what is expected. That's our tour through a few key technical analysis indicators. And remember, there's no guarantees of success or against losses, but by utilizing technical analysis, you'll have the tools to make better decisions. And why not check out our other films on fundamental and on-chain analysis. Good luck trading.